Welcome guys, we have the Fishing Planet Boat series coming up and if you wonder why I didn't have a video up yesterday, that is why I've been practicing for this and it's been kind of frustrating up until today and uh, and I'm going to show you guys how I did and this is going to be for the Qualifier 1 guys, it's I actually left the tournament I was practicing at to get this video out so we can, anybody can use it tomorrow as I'm not solely concerned on winning the tournament but I would really like to see other people do well that are struggling um so we're gonna go over to the boat landing because this is a boat tournament you have to fish from your boat and once you guys get into your boat here um Hopefully this isn't too loud and you guys will be able to hear me. There we go. Um, so it looks like from doing the few practices that I have and, and then obviously on my own, the tournament is way different than what actually you can practice at, kind of. Um, you can have good luck practicing and then go in there and do well bad and then you could You know do bad and go in there and do really well, which is actually what happened to me on our practices that uh, Savvy was doing um, another fishing planet youtuber uh, And I could tell you a couple spots is where where it seemed to really hit for me and I'll uh, I think I'm gonna put on the screen right now where um, where I was obviously leading before I had to leave to make this video so it would get up early enough, but um, There's a few things that work guys and it doesn't matter seem to matter what you're going after while you're in the tournament um, If you're doing the practice tournament, it seems like my the favorite thing real quick to use would be um Let's see down here. It's gonna be a three-quarter ounce spinner and uh, That did pretty well for me and then there's a few other things here I want to go over quick so you guys can try them for yourself um, the buzz bait I had a lot of nibbles on in the tournament, but I uh, towards the end right before I left but I couldn't figure out what to put on the very end of it guys so if you guys figure that out let me know because I got a feeling that might be the go-to for a lot of people if you can figure out what to actually put on it um, and when I say for those that you don't know you can put uh, jig head um, baits on it so let me know about that guys and then also if you have it the musky lure didn't do too bad or the gullum lure didn't do too bad um, but it was that and these jerk baits. These jerk baits really did well for me. Um, and that the that three quarter ounce spinner guys. And then I can kind of show you where I was. I was here, right here, real early on, and then I had a gap, but where where I seemed to make my best was actually we're gonna we're gonna go over here. And you wanna put it on a good pole, guys, even if it's It'll say it's too light. Just get your boat in a good spot and then cast from there. Um, we're going to come over here and I'm going to show you guys where I was having really good luck. And I, this is my boat marker. And this is kind of a neat spot because you can do muskies, which are biting way more than the clear the clear muskies are. I'm thinking somebody that's going to figure out that clear musky spot really well, like where I was, is going to do well like how I was. But the safer bet, the guys I was seeing in the top five or ten, it seemed like, were all going after pikes, which you could throw to here from, or honestly line your boat up over there and just kind of go across like this. Um, or muskies, the musky guys in that practice tournament seem to be doing really well. And same for me when I was throwing in here and then just bringing it to your boat. For jerk, uh, everything but the the musky lure, obviously, because that's a crankbait, uh, was definitely twitching, was working. So 
um, during tournament times. Now, I can tell you from practicing the last two days, that doesn't seem like the case when you're not in there. So the tournament is just a different feel. The, the, if Savvy had set the times right, which I'm pretty sure he did, um, definitely the tournament's different than practicing because I've been practicing the last two days. Felt like I was really struggling and then used the best of what I did here with these guys, the ones I showed you. And I went in there and had a pretty good lead actually for, I mean, I think I was in the lead an hour in, I believe. Um, but out of two hours. So uh, it, could have been, it could have been less than that actually. I'm not sure. <laughs> But hopefully this will help you out, guys, because it seems like uh, seems like nobody's been wanting to really help each other. And if you guys have more information too, don't hesitate to add me if you see up there. My name is Super Dave on PS4. And if you guys are finding stuff that works, let me know, and we can help out a bunch of people, guys. So have a good one.